In this video we're going to look at solving inequalities and comparing this to solving equations and see what the similarities and differences are. So let's get right into it with an example. Say 3x plus 5 is less than 15. We want to find the values of x for which this is still satisfied. So we're going to subtract 5 from both sides and subtracting 5, if you subtract 5 from here and 5 from here then 3x is still less than 10 if that makes sense. You know, like this side was less than this side. We've taken 5 off both sides so the left hand side is still less than the right hand side. Now we're going to divide by 3 again using the same logic, left hand side is smaller, we divide by 3, it's still smaller. Okay, so we found that x is less than 10 over 3, and so any any um, no, number x that's less than 10 over 3 will satisfy this inequality. Okay, brilliant. So that's an easy example, and that turns out to be exactly the same as how we solve uh, regular equations. But what happens when we have a different form? So we've got 4 over x is less than uh, 18. Okay, so when solving equations, if we had 4 over x is equal to 18, we multiply up by the x and divide by the 18 and we get x is equal to 4 over 18 which is equal to 2 over 9 All right. but let's think about inequalities what's really going on here when we, if we multiply up by x x can be positive or negative, okay? And if x is positive and we multiply it, alright, fine. Nothing's changed. Uh, this left hand side will still be less than this right hand side. Or perhaps. But the problem is when when we have a change of sign and an equality, when we multiply through by a negative number, we have to flip the inequality. Let's consider this first example. If if 3x plus 5 is less than 15, well, if we multiply this by minus 1, 3x plus minus 3x plus 5 must be great, uh, greater than negative 15, and this makes sense because this is bigger in magnitude and then we make both of them negative well that means this is not the bigger number because it's they're both negative numbers now well, not necessarily negative but they're both chain sign so the inequality flips over all right anyway so what we can do is we could consider x is greater than 0 and see what happens and consider x is less than 0 and see what happens but I think the easiest way is to multiply out by x squared because x squared is greater than 0 for all x so if we multiply out by x squared we'll get 4x is less than 18 x squared now we've got 18x squared minus 4x is greater than 0. Okay. So we're going to factorize out 2x here. And then inside the brackets we get 9x minus 2 is greater than 0 
Um, what we're going to do, and this is another part on the syllabus, is rep representing inequalities graphically. So we're going to draw a little graph. Um, our root to this, so we set this equal to zero. We consider when it's, it's equal to zero, and then we call the values of x where this is equal to zero, the critical values. So x is equal to naught, and x is equal to two ninths. Okay. Um, this will be a U-shaped quadratic. It's going to go through zero and two ninths. So it's going to look something like that. We want to know when this is greater than zero and it's greater than zero. Left of this zero on the x-axis and right of x is equal to nine over two. So the solution to our inequality is x is less than zero or x is greater than two ninths. All right, hopefully this little walkthrough of inequalities made sense. Um, if, you, if you do have any questions about inequalities, specific questions, with, uh, yeah, particular questions you can just stuck on, or a general question just about ideas and stuff, then either one's good, and feel free to ask them in the comments. If you did enjoy this video, please support me by liking and subscribing, and I hope to